<laughs> All right, here we go. So this enemy, oh so I'm no! Gu I'm guessing it does more when you do the high jump onto them. No, it does not. That's actually something that I wanted to explain. If you do like a high jump or a spin jump on an enemy, it still just counts as a generic first strike. It doesn't do any additional <laughs> damage, which I think is a missed opportunity. Because like in Thousand Year Door, if you do, or even the original Paper Mario to some extent, if you do a spin jump on an enemy, it does more damage. Mm -hmm. So why not this game? Why not make it so when you high jump on an enemy, you do more damage? Missed opportunity. And I mean, it is riskier to go for, and just imagine doing a spin jump on top of an enemy. I tried setting that up a couple of times before, actually, and just didn't nail anything. Anyway, I'm doing this jump the dumb way, if you must know. There's a much easier way to do this jump, and I figure it out pretty quickly here. <laughs> so, okay, spin jump across, spin jump across. I jump up there, then up there, and then spin jump across. Woo. Much, 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 much better. So we're using the back passageway here, we can put out the cactus. <laughs> by the way, you cannot jump when you're filled with water. <laughs> In case it wasn't obvious by the fact the A icon has a big X over it, you can't. Oh, it's a moving tornado. Oh, it's not moving anymore. Never mind. Okay, some of the tornadoes we're going to meet up ahead, they tend to move a little bit more. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. You have to be in line with the tornado or else it doesn't work. There we go. Uh, while we're just continuing to climb up the mountain a little bit more, I want to just bring up one other topic since it was brought up. Yes, the stash stat, its direct influence is critical hits. I tried to look online to figure out how critical hits are determined. The most I could find out is that if you get a lucky hit or a critical hit, it does double damage. But due to the way defense is calculated in the game, it doesn't necessarily look like double always, but it is in the game's logic. A critical hit is double damage. Hmm. Thus more reason to have an epic stash. More stash points! <laughs> Do it now! Do it! One up. So yeah, if someone can tell me exactly how critical hits are calculated in this game, that would be nice to know. I know they are pretty rare because I've been doing all these battles and cutting them out and wow, I overshot that. Mm -hmm. And they just seem to come and go occasionally. Not often, just occasionally lucky. And I'm like, oh, sweet. Here we go. <laughs> that wasn't very hard. Alright, if I'm remembering this part of the game correctly. This is actually the last screen we have to go up against before we make it to the boss of the area. So just a couple more enemies to defeat. It would help if I didn't jump over the enemy and instead jumped on the enemy. Thank you. Oh, look at this battle. Huh. It's a combination. We must use everything we have learned so far against this battle. <laughs> it's sometimes a little difficult to select a specific enemy, but do you remember how to dodge him? He sometimes fakes you out. Oh, he's going after Luigi. I, I personally like this battle just because it's like every enemy so far. Rexes do a lot of damage, by the way. That might be a consequence of the ROM hack, though. I'm going to be saying that a lot. <laughs> this enemy does a lot of damage, but that might be a consequence of the ROM hack. Blame it on JD Ace 64. Everything is blamed on him. <laughs> <laughs> this ROM hack is too hard. How many, so how many coins are coming out on each hit? Three? That's what it looks like. Okay, because that's, that's what I thought. Ah, I missed that jump. Uh, I cannot give you an exact answer for that, because it's like a coin block, and once you start hitting a coin block, you don't stop hitting the coin block. You know? I, I'm pretty sure I, I checked myself when um, I played all those years ago, but I don't remember. Because <laughs> it was bugging me. It's like, it looks like there's three coming out. So what the heck is this? But, yeah. I'm having fun with this tornado, though. <laughs> you just keep spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. Yes, defy <laughs> gravity. Hey, it's Princess Peach's castle. Yeah, you can kind of see it from the top of Hoo Hoo Mountain. 
And now Hoo Hoo Mountain will never be referenced in any other Mario game ever again whenever you see Princess Peach's castle, because Princess Peach's castle can be seen from everywhere. <laughs> you mean nothing from any Mario RPG will ever be referenced again. The only thing that Mario ever references is Grass World, Lava World, Desert World. Every time. <laughs> but nothing that's actually decent. But Princess Peach's castle is like Springfield in The Simpsons. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's true. But we've made it to the top of Hoo Hoo Mountain. There's a save point. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Do you feel better now, Evil Pop Dirt? No. We've we've saved. We've brushed no. it away. No, no, you've you're you're. No. Just... And this guy is just sleeping on top of an oh, egg. Great. I can't. More dinosaurs. Fool those we kicked that thing. That's a- oh, we need that. That's a hoo-hoo block. I'm a pterodactyl! Rawr! We need that block. It's a hoo-hoo block. We can use it to make hammers. So this guy is- I'm not joking, his name is Blah Blah Nadon. I'm so murdering the guy like I'm- no. Nice. He's just getting <laughs> murdered. He's going to mysteriously... die. <laughs> Blah Blah Nadon was watching over this egg at the top of the mountain just because it appeared someday, and he's like, oh, I, I should probably watch this thing. They all have really creepy faces. Anyway, it's about to hatch. Uh oh, what's inside of the egg? A boss. It's Wart from Dragon. Mario 2. Okay, so there it goes down the waterfall. Just run after the waterfall. We don't we don't need it. One crazy egg indeed, and yeah, blah blah Nadon just got blasted away to Princess Peach's castle and even further. <laughs> even further. Good luck getting back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Customs is kind of annoying. You have to do this rope jump. <laughs> Alright, so welcome to this boss battle. It's against Drago Ho Ho. <laughs> so murdering the guy, I swear. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. You're gonna he's gonna be dead one day. And you're just gonna go, I wonder how he died. You're gonna turn on the Nobody news and you're gonna be knows. like, the guy who named things from Mario Brothers is dead. You're not even actually going to say his name, it's just going to be the guy who named things for Mario. I'm keeping his name a secret for this reason. I must find this name. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Drago Ho-Ho, he will actually do something, and I believe he does it this turn, where he just spits out an egg. And this thing is kind of annoying, because he'll jump on the egg and then attack you, and he's really close to you, and it's hard to dodge anything. So, if you want to take him out quickly, you just keep attacking him. However, I'm gonna, because that egg thing is really annoying, I'm gonna use Luigi to attack the egg. And I'm using Luigi specifically because Luigi's attack power is a little bit less than Mario's. So I'm using Mario to deal the heavy damage and Luigi to get rid of the egg. And, oh, by the way! One nice change that JD Easter did to this ROM hack is, previously, every single advance that you would get, whether it's a Mario move or a Luigi move, except for specifically one, Mario would be the one who did the hmm animation. However, in this ROM hack, JD Aster fixed it so that all of Luigi's bros attacks, Luigi does the hmm. In the original game, he only did it for one specific bros attack, Luigi would go hmm for only one. And it was kind of dumb. Who knows? JD Aster fixed it so that now Luigi goes hmm on his own bros attacks. Good, so it should be. Mm hmm. <laughs> anyway, I kind of want to keep dealing massive damage, so let's go ahead and give Mario a sir up here. And keep using Splash Brothers. Thank you, me, for not using the Spike version that does less damage so I can take this guy out quicker. By that you mean er 20 minutes instead of 21 minutes! Anyway, I just know as a fact this guy actually does not have too much health. Like, he's gonna be down in one or two more Splash Brothers if I remember bringing this battle correctly. Down, down now, what yeah, am I talking that about? That was easier than the mini-boss. <laughs> the mini-boss took a pummeling, if you ask me. This guy... I, I personally think this boss was a decently length boss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Oh, 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 am I gonna do it? No. No, maybe, maybe, maybe... Where am I gonna go with this? Wow. Yes! Power, there we go. Hooray! 
Anything that isn't a plus one, I am happy with. <laughs> plus ones suck. Mm -hmm. Everything else, A-OK. -okay. It's kind of funny. This ROM pack has the inflated stats, so the plus bonuses that you get from the level ups aren't as significant as they are in the original game. Oh, I went with a stash upgrade, and I only got a plus one. Eh. That's what you get for going with the stash upgrade. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so yeah, Dragon Hoho -Ho was actually this entire time... The Prince! <gasps> I'm blind. <laughs> My eyes. I can't see. I can't see. It. <laughs> so Prince Peasley was not. Oh God, my eyes! He was not kidnapped. He was transformed into Dragon Ho Ho, the boss of the area. But we saved him. He's on a top secret mission at the moment, and it's in regards to Crackletta actually. So it does relate to us. Hmm. So. Yeah, that's nice. Oh god, I'm blind! <laughs> <laughs> Can you please stop flashing your hair? Anyway, our next mission, which is where we'd be going anyway, whether we save Prince Peasley or not, is to finally get to the castle, but he gives us something important. He gives us this little flower. Rose. He lets you get into the Bean Bean Castle, actually. Hmm. You're kind of forced to- Oh god, ah, I'm blind. too sparkly! <laughs> You're kind of forced to collect it. It'd be funny if you could somehow sequence break the game and not collect that. <laughs> just to see what would happen. But with that said, we have gotten Blah Blah Nadan back. And if we talk to Blah Blah Nadan, he'll actually take you up to the top of the mountain. So you want to- he won't take you back down, though. But I wanted to show this off specifically because there isn't something I've shown at the summit yet. There's kind of, I guess, an Easter egg type thing here. There's a telescope here. Hmm. You can see all of the Bean Bean Kingdom from this telescope, actually. Hmm. So you get to see all the wonderful areas we're going to be going to in this game. Including the stretched kind of smiley faces on top of that mass of land right there. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, blah blah nada, nadan won't give us a ride back, so we'll have to Jump run. Down the waterfall. Load state. <laughs> We're gonna have to just put the video in two times fast forward as I run down. Thankfully, the enemies haven't respawned, and I take it that's because the enemies are part of a set with the village mm -hmm. in terms of like areas in the game. So I don't have to run into any enemies or do enemy dodging extreme. I just have to get down the mountain. Just take the waterfall. What the hell? Can't take the. Ooh, I missed something. Mm. Must get thing I missed. It's a one-up mushroom. There we go. Yeah, every green block in this video. That's the third one now. Has had a one-up. How about that? But guess what? That hoo-hoo block. It's made it into the Hammerhead Brothers' house. So hooray! They're gonna make us hammers. That rock included the wood stick and everything. <laughs> that made two hammers, even though it was just one block. <laughs> now we're playing with power. We're bad Tendo boys. <laughs> we are bad boys. <laughs> These new hammers, they are so bad. <laughs> anyway, to use hammers, just like how we had to select the jump option with the L and R buttons, we use the L and R buttons to switch over to hammer. And we did whack stuff. It's as simple as that. A solo action. And the B button, oh, that's the bros action. That's, yes, thanks. Thanks, guys. I didn't even get an option to skip that. Do you want to learn how to use your hammers? Yes or no? No. Well, we're going to teach you anyway. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We can swing our hammer. Oh, by the way, you can select the hammer as Luigi and whack Mario over the head. <laughs> However, for some reason, you can't do it with Mario to Luigi right now. I don't understand why, because you could in the original. I don't know if this is specific to this ROM hack, like if it prevents an exploit or not. But like right now, no matter what, I can't have Luigi oh, yeah. or Mario whack Luigi. Huh. You, you could in the original, and then Luigi gets angry and it's pretty funny. Weird. Either way, 
that will about do it for this update of Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga Plus. Let's whack Mario over the head. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, we're going to climb down the mountain and actually finally make it to the Bean Bean Kingdom Castle, which is like the main area in the game, actually. Woo! There we go. So join me for that. This has been Miles Luigi. And this is Evil Pop Tart. And Higsby. See you all next time. <laughs> <laughs>